Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this fascinating video titled NASA Updates Software for Spacecraft Tens of Billions of Kilometers Away, we delve into the extraordinary work of scientists around the world. Please join us to learn this interesting thing. Ever wondered how NASA manages to update software on spacecraft that are billions of kilometers away and decades old? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a cosmic journey to unravel this mystery. Space exploration, a testament to human curiosity and innovation is an endeavor that has changed the way we understand our universe. At the heart of these missions is the software, the unseen hero, guiding these vessels across the vast expanse of space. But there's a catch. These spacecraft are often decades old and located billions of kilometers away. So how does NASA successfully update their software? It's not like you can just pop over and install the latest update. The challenges are immense, from dealing with outdated hardware to the unforgiving nature of space itself. Get ready to journey into the fascinating world of NASA's software updates. Hold on tight as we delve into the early days of space exploration and the evolution of this extraordinary process. The early days of space exploration were not as technologically advanced as we are now. Picture this, it's the mid 20th century and NASA is in its infancy. The concept of software updates as we understand them today is still decades away. In those days, spacecraft software was hardwired, quite literally. It was woven into core rote memory, a type of read-only memory by a team of skilled women known as little old ladies. Any changes to this software required a new rope to be woven and installed, not exactly a quick fix. The process was painstakingly slow and incredibly precise. It was a ballet of human and machine, with the software physically intertwined with the hardware. The margin for error was virtually zero. One misplaced wire could mean a failed mission. Updating the software was a challenge of its own. With the spacecraft millions of miles away, traditional methods were out of the question. Instead, NASA had to rely on the built-in flexibility of the software, using existing commands in creative ways to make changes. These initial challenges were monumental, but they were not insurmountable. They pushed NASA's engineers to think outside the box, to innovate, and to create solutions that would not only work in the moment, but also lay the groundwork for future advancements in space technology. As technology evolved, so did NASA's approach to software updates. So, how has the process of updating software on spacecraft evolved over the years? In the early days, Updating software on spacecraft was a monumental task. Picture this. NASA engineers had to painstakingly prepare a software update on Earth, then transmit the data to the spacecraft over the Deep Space Network, a worldwide system of antennas that communicate with interplanetary spacecraft. The spacecraft's onboard computer, with its limited storage and processing power, had to receive and install the update, all while continuing to perform its primary mission. As technology advanced, however, the process became more streamlined. In the 80s and 90s, NASA began using more advanced computers on their spacecraft, which made the process of updating software more manageable. But the challenge still remained, how to transmit the software update across the vast distances of space. The solution? Incremental updates. Instead of sending a whole new software package, engineers would send only the changes or patches to the existing software. This method reduced the amount of data that needed to be sent and also reduced the risk of a catastrophic failure during the update process. In the new millennium, NASA began to utilize more sophisticated coding languages and software design principles. For instance, object-oriented programming allows for modules of code to be updated independently of the rest of the software. This approach further improved the efficiency and reliability of software updates. The process also became more automated. Today, software updates are often tested on Earth using exact replicas of the spacecraft's computer system. Once the update is verified, it's sent to the spacecraft, where it's automatically installed and tested. Through trial and error, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of improvement, NASA has come a long way in its ability to update software on spacecraft. The process has gone from being a risky, complex operation to a more routine and reliable procedure. Today, NASA has mastered the art of updating software on spacecraft that are billions of kilometers away. In the modern era, NASA has a sophisticated approach to updating software on distant and old spacecraft. 
It's a symphony of technology and intellect, a process that has been honed over decades of space exploration. To start with, NASA uses a process called remote software updating. This is not unlike how your computer or smartphone receives software updates. However, instead of a simple Wi-Fi connection, NASA relies on the Deep Space Network, a worldwide system of antennas that allows communication with far-off spacecraft. It's a bit like sending a text message, only this one might take hours or even days to reach its destination. The software updates themselves are a marvel of engineering. They have to be small, as the bandwidth available for transmission is limited. They also have to be error-free, as even a single misplaced bit can cause serious problems. This is where the unsung heroes, the software engineers, come into play. They meticulously write and test these updates, ensuring they are as compact and flawless as possible. Once the update is sent, the spacecraft's onboard computer takes over. It checks the update for errors, installs it, and then reboots, all without human intervention. This is crucial, as real-time intervention is impossible due to the vast distances involved. And thus, even from tens of billions of kilometers away, NASA manages to keep its ancient hardware running smoothly. It's truly a marvel of modern technology and a testament to human ingenuity. So, we've journeyed from the early days of space exploration to the modern era. We've seen how NASA has evolved its software update process for ancient hardware on spacecrafts that are tens of billions of kilometers away. From the initial days where updates were a far-fetched concept, to the era of painstaking manual updates, and now, the sophisticated systems that allow remote updates from Earth. We've seen how the evolution of this process has been driven by advances in technology, but also by the sheer necessity of keeping these machines operational in the harshest conditions imaginable. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge and exploration. So while the process may seem complex, it is this complexity that has allowed us to push the boundaries of what is possible to reach further into the cosmos than ever before. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember the incredible technology that keeps our spacecrafts going, even from billions of kilometers away. By watching this video on our channel, you will gain valuable insights into space science. Like, comment, and subscribe to never miss a moment of space exploration with us. Thank you very much.